This is TJ Snedden here today bringing you guys a brand new video and today is going to be on Darius Geis running back from LSU. So we already made one video on him. I really like what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, and we're going to dive right into it today. Really, really love his uh, explosiveness, his strength, just in his entire body in general, and just his willingness to be a team player that just pops out. You don't even have to meet this guy, and I bet you this guy is the one of the most fury guys in the locker room. Fast. He he's gonna. This dude, I told you guys this. This guy's a little pocket rocket. He's gonna light up the combine. All right. So in this video, I want to focus on maybe a couple little nuances that I can pick up and show you guys about guys here. Let's see. Patience. I, I tell you what, with Geis and Saquon Barkley, the big thing that I know in this class is they, there's no like, there's not any doubts of of their speed or their ability to get up field. Let him just blow his head down right there. Watch this one more time. Why is this? There we go. Gets his head down, goes for an extra couple yards. Yeah, and that's one note that I made sure that I wanted to bring up from this video to, or from the last video to this video, is that one thing Geist does very well is turn negative into positive yards. See, that's that's all him just fighting right there. That's that's nothing other than Geist being strong. Like you can just see his legs. He's his legs are like tree trunks. Just fights for the yards, play after play. Love it. Yeah, and he can block in the run game. That was a big knock on Fournette coming out. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. He can block in the pass game. That was one of the big knocks, knocks on Fournette. Like, you see him uh, dive at the legs of what was that, 77 or 17 right there. Yeah, that was one of the big knocks, knocks on Fournette that he wasn't willing to do anything in the run, or he wasn't be able to protect the quarterback or catch balls out of the backfield. And I, I see it with Guy. I can, I can see, I can see Guy's breaking the LSU running back uh, stereotype. Fumbled right there. I, that kind of looked like a bad handoff. Nope. He just got it knocked out really quick. It's a perfect play by that defensive lineman. Is that Brantley? Let's see here. But yeah. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to go do that at Draft Lifestyle. We're going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm providing daily content on there for you guys. What? I, I I would love to see Geis go to a uh, uh, just a downhill running style team, kind of like the Vikings or uh, the Vikings or Patriots or even the Broncos for somebody on that line. Just just a team that doesn't have uh, or the team that doesn't do the power blocking or power blocking scheme, which a lot of the NFL does nowadays. I feel like he he would be good in a uh, in a zone, I'm sorry, zone blocking scheme. But I I could see him being a top three running back in the entire NFL if people just allow him to hit a hole. Love it. He just keeps his feet churning. Love it, and you can see how how powerful he is. Just look at his build. That's deadly right there. He made two cuts on this play. Love it. Yeah, just watch, watch his feet moving. Cut another one. That's you can't even. That's not even 
I'm I'm almost I, I'm 95% sure that they just don't teach that there at LSU. That's that's just him being a good football player right there. I love his awareness. It's like the, the mental side of this. Like I feel I feel like when you watch him uh watch him more and more, you can see his awareness of both the offense and defensive line. Just just like he he's 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 that guy that has eyes in the back of his head. You can just you can just see him always always thinking too. Look at him powering for I, I told you guys he doesn't have very many negative yards at all. Just because just because he fights. He's a, he's a, he's a little bulldog. Hopefully they pass it. Let me see him lace one out. Oh. That's a horrible that's a horrible uh play call right there by LSU. Hopefully hopefully Orgeron can figure out how to uh how to get their throwing game back on track because I mean if they do, LSU always is always gonna have a great defense. And with Geist this next year, they could be deadly if they could figure out if they could figure out how to throw the ball. Which they never can, by the way. Comes Geist. Geist is an animal. I love watching him. There's so many fun players that are going to be in this draft that we're going to be able to watch. Let's see. Yeah, all in all, if I have to... If I have to give a quick little scouting report... Oh my, Geist was wide open too. If I have to give you a quick scouting report on Geist, I'd say stocky build, very powerful, yet, yet he, he can run. I don't, I don't know what that was right there. Looked like there was sun right there too. He can run. He can block for you. Go. I didn't, I didn't see the final to this game. Um. Yeah, he can run. He, he has, he has elite. He has elite quickness in the hole, being that, that he can, he can juke anybody out, and he can sit there. And with his feet moving and still get uh or in in, in make some cuts which uh, everyone likes to point to Le'Veon Bell as people because people think he's like the only person in the entire NFL who can do that nowadays even though he's not but I don't think he got that nope that was a good game though all right, yeah. So all in all, guys, I I really love Darius Geis. Um, I feel like I've already provided some breakdown on him. So, yeah. But if you guys are liking these videos, please leave a like and subscribe. It really mean a lot to me. And please go check out my Instagram. I'm gonna leave that in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys. Have a great day.